everyone. So today's video is going to be my 11 months on tea update. I just want to say that I know that I'm wearing an exorbitant amount of candy today, but I've been having so much fun making lots of silly little plastic beaded bracelets and stuff the past few weeks and now I'm just enjoying the fruits of my labour and wearing all the candy every day so you're going to be seeing a lot of this for the next few videos just so you know. Also the little green blob on my nose is not a booger I promise it's a little frog. Let me show you real quick just to prove it okay. It's not a booger. It's a frog. Okay sort it. First of all, I know that this update is probably going to be uploaded really close to the last one because I am now 11 months on tea but I am still editing the video that I did for 10 months on tea. So these videos will probably be uploaded really close together and that might seem weird but it's just that I was really slow with the previous video so please <laughs> excuse that if you can. I don't know why I had so much trouble editing that video but it was just a pain so there you go. Alright, anyway, so jumping into the actual update, I do have quite a few things to tell you for this month, surprisingly. Um, I had another endo appointment and I had my blood test for that and my T levels were checked. So just as like a comparison, in August when I had my blood test, my T levels were 5.13 and then when I had them checked this month in October, they were 15.5, which is quite a jump, I'm amazed, um, because I'm still only on the two pumps of Testo Gel and my endo was really surprised, she thought that maybe like I had increased my dose and not mentioned it but I'm like no I'm still on two pumps, like I don't know how this happened, it's, I've never had my T levels this high before and I was feeling kind of down about my T levels for a while because I've never been able to get them in the male range and now they're like mid way through the male range so it's it's perfect i'm super happy about it and apparently the reason that they've suddenly gone up so much my t levels is because of having started finasteride a month ago so it's really interesting because i thought that finasteride was going to have the opposite effect where it would slow a lot of my progression and that my t levels would go down because that's kind of what i heard about when i looked it up then heard about it from different places and read about it everything was kind of telling me that it would slow my progress. But the opposite has happened because the way I had it explained to me in really simple terms is that my T levels are higher because testosterone isn't converting into DHT anymore. That's kind of how it was explained to me, which makes a lot of sense. And it's, it's just so funny because like, I kept thinking after having started finasteride that I was seeing more changes and I couldn't figure out why because I wasn't expecting it and I kept thinking like maybe the finasteride hasn't kicked in yet, maybe I'm imagining it um, and then I just kept thinking like is there something about finasteride that is making the changes more apparent like what's going on <laughs> and it yeah it turns out I was kind of right so I, I can't even tell you how stoked I am about it like I, I can feel myself like tearing up because I'm so happy about it um yeah I'm actually gonna cry hang on <laughs> okay I wasn't expecting to get teary anyway so kind of related when I was talking about all of this to my endo I did ask her about voice stuff because as you know in my last update I was kind of having a whinge about how I hadn't noticed any voice changes yet and she said that I probably haven't had much of a voice change yet because my T levels have always been kind of low for like this whole duration of me starting this medical transition. So she said that if my T levels stay at around 15 then I should have a voice change within the next couple months but I don't want to get my hopes up. I would really love if that happened but yeah I, I guess I'm holding out a little tiny little sliver of hope but I just I don't want to disappoint myself so we will see what happens. She also said that if my T levels stay in this range then hopefully my periods will turn off which would be really really nice really annoyed that I'm still getting them at 11 months but fingers crossed that something there changes now that I'm in the male range which I just can't believe even saying it I just can't believe it I'm just I'm just so happy also last thing about all of that my endo said that I could go up to three pumps of testo gel in January if I needed to like if my T levels went back down or I wanted them 
a bit higher I could go up to three pumps which I'm open to doing but I think if my T levels stay kind of around where they are I'm happy to just stay on two pumps I think but I remember saying that about one pump and then I went up to two and then last time I was saying I'd like to go up to three so you know I'm sure that at some point I probably will go up to three so it's good to know that the option will be open soon for that. So that's all really good news. I'm like, again, I just can't tell you how happy I am about all of that. Like, again, I can feel myself tearing up. I need to like rein this in. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm super, super stoked. And all of this makes me feel like I'm only just now starting tea in a way because the progress that I've been seeing since starting Finasteride has been the most that I've ever seen in a month before and it's it's really cool um, because my changes have really slowed down a lot for a bit there and I wasn't really seeing much of anything happening for a while so it's just it's super super cool. I'm gonna get into the actual changes now after all of that ecstatic rambling. So first of all we're going to start off with my moustache again. I will get up close and show you how it's looking. Like a cool little update about my moustache is that I was having like a video chat with someone, it was part of an appointment thing, and they mentioned that they could see my moustache on webcam now, which is like super super cool. I've been kind of like waiting for someone to notice it on webcam because it didn't always used to show up and now it does, so I'm pretty happy about that. I will show you uh, my face on webcam so you can see what I mean, you can kind of see like I guess the shadow of the moustache there, I think it's a lot more noticeable than it used to be. And I've also noticed that a little tiny bit of my beard hair is also noticeable on webcam, but kind of only if you're looking for it. I'm the only person who's noticed it so far, but when you're looking for it, I think you can see it. It's like mainly around here that you can see it on webcam, but the moustache is the most obvious thing, so that's really cool. Speaking of beard, Things. Um, my face is getting very fluffy right now. It's still very peach fuzzy, but I have definitely been seeing a lot more darker hairs, like here especially, and again, like kind of connecting with everything. So I'll show you how that's looking up close. Like all here, I'm seeing a lot of darker hairs, which is really great. <laughs> Yeah, so it's really interesting, the facial hair especially, because I'd really been noticing more of that since starting Finasteride, and I was really confused by it, because I was like, this can't be right, What what is going on? This is going against everything that I learned about Finasteride, so very, very happy with my fluffy face, and hopefully the progress on that keeps coming at a good pace. So now I'm going to talk about other body hair stuff, so first I'll show you my arm hair, which I don't know if you can tell on camera but I have been seeing I think a significant amount of progress with my arm hair this month. It definitely seems darker to me and it does seem to have happened faster than usual but again it's one of those things that's kind of hard to see on camera at the moment but I will try and show you how the arm hair is going in another clip because it's always hard trying to show you at this angle. I've definitely noticed more like arm hair again on the inside of my arm but it's like a bit more progress than usual and just that everything like on my arm hair seems darker in general which is very nice. I'm starting to see like the very very beginning stages of teeny tiny little hairs like growing on my upper arms in places that it definitely was not growing there before but yeah it's like even like here on the inside of my arm I think I'm starting to get more armpit hair too. It's just that thing again of seeing the beginning stages of it, but like I can really see it like kind of here. It's like kind of there, I don't know if you can see it. So that, that'll that be fun. <laughs> um, I really like having armpit hair, I don't know, so I'm looking forward to having 
more of it. And then of course, as always, I'm going to tell you a little bit about my tummy hair, which I definitely think I've been seeing more progress on this month. Again, it was one of those things that I was really confused about because I was like, this usually goes so slowly and suddenly I'm seeing more progress on it. So thank you for Nastrite. Okay, I'll show you how the tummy hair is going. I'm definitely seeing more progress above the belly button now as well as below it, but it's really cool seeing like some more fluff come up like a bit higher than that. I'm pretty stoked about the tummy hair. So while we're talking about hair and finasteride, which I'm just not shutting up about apparently, I will also tell you a bit about my hair loss, which I don't really have much to say about because I don't know if I've really seen any changes with that yet. I don't think that it's gotten worse. I mean, I know sometimes with finasteride you have like an initial um, shed, they call it, where more hair than usual falls out and then gets replaced by new hairs because I think it's like finasterides kind of can speed up the hair growth cycle or some, something like that. I can't completely remember. I think it's similar with minoxidil as well, but I definitely have not seen an increase in hair on my head yet, but I'm not expecting to see that for like another five months probably so that's not surprising so i'm not going to show you how my head is looking in this clip just because i don't want to take off my ridiculous hat but i have been growing out my hair again instead of reshaving it so if it looks like there's a difference it's really just because of the length but not the amount of hairs that there are so next thing i want to talk about is muscle mass i have definitely noticed another increase in my muscles, um, especially in my arms. I'm the most focused on it there, so I guess that's why it's the most noticeable. Especially here, and I can just like, if I just twist my arm like this with my hand up here, I can feel the muscles in there moving and it's the weirdest thing. Like I've never been able to feel that or notice it before. It's kind of gross to be honest, like body stuff like that freaks me out, but it's also really cool at the same time. And I will say I've been doing the teenage boy thing of like flexing in the mirror to see any progress and I do think that there is some more muscle there for sure. Still baby muscles because you know I don't work out or anything but it's still it's still pretty cool and I'm, I'm happy about it. Also I will say that my mum has noticed that I have a bit more strength as well because stuff that I used to not be able to do I can do now and I thought it was external things and not me, but it is me, so that's kind of funny. It was this time that I was locking the gates, which I usually have trouble with because they tend to get stuck and stuff, but I was able to do it really easily and I thought, oh, it must be that the locks have been fixed, but then it turns out that it was actually just that I have the strength for it now because when I locked them my mum couldn't unlock them and she had to like get special tools to fix it because I had <laughs> like messed it up with not realizing that I was stronger. Um, bit of an awkward situation but also very affirming at the same time. So that that was kind of funny but not so much for my mom. <laughs> Definitely not so much for my mom. Also I have noticed an increase in acne which I think it's definitely spreading beyond my shoulders. I know I've kind of been saying this for a while but I'm really noticing it now so it's like further down on my back my arms and I'm getting it more on my neck again and like my chin but you know it's all still kind of manageable I'm not that bothered by it yet but if it does keep getting worse I'm probably going to look into doing something about it because I kind of don't want to have lots of acne scars and stuff which is something that I'm getting on my shoulders and I don't want that to be uh, getting worse because it bothers me <laughs> but that's kind of a minor detail at the moment. The other things is that my hunger's gone up, my body temperature has definitely gone up, and I'm getting sore throats again. I guess those are all good signs in a way. And then the last thing also was just that I wanted to mention top surgery again. I can't remember which update it was that I last mentioned it, but I said that I wasn't sure if the top surgery referral had actually happened yet, just that I knew that it was going to happen and now I'm just confirming that it has definitely happened because I asked my endo about it and she's checking in again about it today, I think, the day that I'm filming. That'll be happening at some point. I think the problem is it's taking ages because it's like going through the public system, so I'm gonna look into whether I can do it privately because I know that it can happen a lot faster than if you do it private instead of public, so 
Sorry about my voice being all over the place, by the way. It's been doing a lot of weird stuff again this month and getting like very croaky and I keep needing to clear it and it's just kind of annoying and all over the place. I think it already like it's sounding different right now from five minutes ago so that's really awkward I'm sorry but I think that's everything that I had to say anyway and I'm kind of rushing now because I only have three minutes left on my memory card and my camera's overheating so I better wrap this up I know I sped through it a little bit there just because of the technical things I do apologize but as I said I'm really happy with the progress of everything this month and I'm excited about where all of this is taking me I think things are looking up hopefully and I'm looking forward to seeing more changes so my septum ring is annoying the shit out of me so I'm gonna go change that yeah but that is it so thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time